I, it's at the point now where, like, now I'll find, like, a naked dude on Omegle, right? Oh, and man. not only is he naked, but then he'll be like, Billy? And I'll be like, oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> There's these, there's these girls from like, I don't know, Kazakhstan or somewhere deep. Yo, in like, I saw that, and, Sean. And they play like mouth harp and they're all oh, like really what? hot. Oh, and they're like, crazy. and they do like, I'm going to show you. I'll I find saw them. that. They're, they're nasty. They like, and they travel the world in world music. Fairs, yeah, you know, That's so they're weird. actually good, and, and they live like. So this stuff goes hard. Yo, it's... and it goes mad hard. It's like it's like uh, you know, like on the electronic side, but they live it's like, like in a village. It's like oh, right. like, like, <laughs> like like where where they're like I don't know, hunting and gathering, right, and, like, and they... like in yurts. What? <laughs> it's actually really cool. Right. I don't think they live in yurts. Yes, dude. they do. Yurts. They don't live in yurts because because I saw some footage of them like in the living room, just like hanging out. Well, maybe they have a big yurt with regular clothes on. They have they have like a Communal yurt. A communal yurt. <laughs> <laughs> they do. I mean, it's a. It's a. It, it's our Starbucks I mean, yurt. Sick, <laughs> It's like a, it's a village, dude. Oh my God. You know, I can't think. like lineage. Can you imagine that? It's gotta be bizarre for like people like that that make it out of that village playing music and then just end up on stage at like PNC or some shit. Yo, totally. And then, like, what, like, what's happening? But then after they like do their tour, they still they go, go back, back to their there. village. <laughs> they, go <laughs> into, and they go to their yurt. They're like, finally, yeah. I'm in my bed. <laughs> it's it's yurt. Feel, listen, home is home. Yeah, yeah dude. Home, 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 is, home. Is, is where you make it. Yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah. Well, represent Jersey. Are we? Are we shooting? <laughs> oh, so, oh, oh, we're on. Yeah, we're on. We're on, baby. We made it. Well, That's it. okay. Right, so that made it weird now. Yeah. Did it? <laughs> no, I don't know. Welcome. <laughs> yeah, act natural. Everybody, fucking relax, all right? Billy, Yo, Billy, of... welcome to Yo. our to our <laughs> studio. <laughs> Thank you, dude. This place is crazy. It's like, I was, I was saying to you guys before, like, it's so weird to see it in person after seeing it on Instagram for so long. It looks bigger on Instagram. Like. No, for sure, for sure. But, <laughs> but it's not that. It's just, like, the amount of stuff you guys actually have in here is wild. Yeah, we cram it in here. Well, it's, we're it's used impressive. to it. Listen, New York City, you gotta, you, you listen, you, you gotta be tight. <laughs> Honestly, there's still room here. I there still is. see room. Like, oh, yeah. There's always room. There's well, plenty of room. Well, you know, yeah. our goal is to, is to maximize every square inch. I like it. So, so we try to put everything on top of one another. If all else fails, you just throw a bunch more guitars behind the magic boop door thing right there. Oh, yeah. yeah. That, that'll be plenty of space. I've been saying for years I should be the acoustic. <laughs> the acoustic. It's just, it's just, there's, that's like I just think closet. it should be a, it, it's like the closet. Listen, I think it should just be a spot. It's, it's the, <laughs> it looks, it's starting to look like a spot. Uh -huh. I like the music yeah, in the well, background. <laughs> We can well, probably make a good extra, like a little side hustle for the, for the business. <laughs> for, for, for from Georgie's recommendation, we did some decoration there. To, I to, love it to hook up the vibe. That's my favorite part, honestly. Am I even kidding? No, <laughs> I'll send you an Amazon. That's link. nice. Yeah, honestly, I gotta get some of those in my back. So you know, we don't really have like too many like shredder guitars that you like. No, you do though. You've got yeah, some crazy. Yeah, like, we do. Let's pull something down. Like, even like that. That Nash is crazy. You guys said you sold that one. Oh, that too, Nash right? is gone. Yeah, that thing's gone. Or what was the, the ones that you were talking about? The solo. Solo guitars, right? Yeah. yeah. Those, those I'll things grab, are nice I'll too. I'll grab you the one that has the less dead looking. Yo, 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 you're, you're connected. To <laughs> you're connected. You're, 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 in, you're engaged. You're plugged in. There engaged. You <laughs> okay. Stereo, stereo <laughs> 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 yo, you've got oct. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's so funny, dude. Yo, I think you're really gonna like this guitar. Really it's see, like, dude. it's right up your alley, but it's like, it's like classic strap. Bro. Yeah, it's got the, it's a super strap, right? That, that would cost Yeah, like, exactly. Super strap. Straight I mean, up. But he made it like everything is custom made on it. Yeah. The strings are a little old, so it's That's not right. for the break right, so, back in. Oh, but. okay, it's got a nice thin neck on it. This is crazy. And so it's an Arcane 13 in the humbucker. Dude, okay, the carbon fiber, that's cool, dude. Uh, but if you, flip, if you flip it over, so we have, uh, everything is FU tuned back here. Gotcha, yeah, yeah, Brass block, red silent springs, brass claw, uh, brass insert blocks, all this shit. This is crazy. This looks like a hefty block, it's too. A, it's a monster piece. That's a big one. Two gold super jumbo. Yeah. So that just never wear. Uh, the two that I have, I've been playing for like two years. That's and crazy. no fret wear on them at all. I've you have the gold? I, I have the gold on both of mine. That's yeah. crazy. I've actually never seen gold frets in person before. That is actually bizarre, dude. Let me see. But this thing will rip your face off. This is a really good strap pickup. This kind of does an out of phase thing because this is literally like four times the output of this. Gotcha, okay. Dude, this thing's actually really sick. I wonder if the camera heard Surge. 
say all that stuff. Probably. Yeah, you probably got the boom. Yeah. 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 This is actually really nice, dude. Fast action, right? It is. It's quick. Are we making up an amp? Uh, I, I don't know. Do, do we need to? It'd be cool. I mean, the sound would be better. Yeah, I, uh, I have the I mic bring, there. I want to bring an amp. Should have been prepared. Before. Dude, actually, the carpet fiber looks yeah, well, really well, cool. Well, we weren't planning to play yet, because we were going <laughs> we to set up and well, play it, it later. It just kind of happened. I'm sorry. Well, then, oh, we'll just, you can just deal with it for now. Yeah, 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 yeah that's fine. I, I mean, you know, I... Well, we set yeah. a plug in. Yeah, yeah. It's a guitar store. You should be just able to just plug it in anywhere. <laughs> you can, I uh, think. Well, it's already sold the speaker cable. Otherwise, I'd plug him into any of the behind him. <laughs> Who sold the speaker cable? What speaker cable? <laughs> what? Who sold the speaker cable? God damn it! Who sold the fucking speaker cable? <laughs> What's the speaker cable? <laughs> Between the head, Between and, the head and the, the oh, cable. Oh. I only went to Paul when he bought the That's the one thing yeah, that's yeah. not for sale. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> it happens often, you know? Like, yeah. like uh... Oh yeah, hold on, I have one back here. Rip it out of the back. God damn listen, it. Listen, a musician well, needs listen, it for the gig. And you gotta make it work, It's man. better than losing a sale. Yeah, definitely. It's gotta be done. Well, I mean, because like, especially like a lot of those times that we like sacrifice and shit like that, it's like saved the gig. Yeah, like, no. Dude, I've had some crazy, yeah. I've had to save a lot of my friends' gigs too, especially like down the shore, dude, mm -hmm. at all the beach bars. So yeah. it's like, there's only a couple of us that like are really like down there, down there. So like we, like my friends, like they'll get to a gig, like yo, I forgot my microphone, like you got a 58 acre bar, all right, buddy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I drive out over, <laughs> hey, yeah, uh, get a beer. Dude, can I use your amp, I, bro? I broke my guitar. Oh you man, it? dude, it's insane. But now it's winter season. That's it. Uh, no, no. Oh, well, yeah, kind, yeah. Well, for by me, it's a ghost town. Right? Oh yeah, no, yes. yeah. By me, dude. Anything. There's nobody. It's just me. There's uh, another old lady across the street. <laughs> and, like, <laughs> that's she, it. And she's, she hears me yeah. screaming into the microphone at night on Twitch and stuff, and she's she's like, what are you doing? up there I'm like I, I don't know <laughs> and, and, and then there's a bunch of stray cats that come through so like when I get done streaming I like throw bread out to the cats and then, you know shed for them and stuff like hell yeah so cool. seaside in the winter yeah. it's like it's like walk like the walking dead Cat, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> like if you're passing like if you're out for a walk at night and you're passing somebody like you're, you're not gonna pass somebody it's probably a ghost <laughs> like, well, there's, well, there's like mammoth there's like mammoth it's close by right mammoth is okay that's like an hour from me oh it's a little far out that's okay there's a college there like mammoth at least has like people like, yeah it's not dead Seaside after summer, it's great. It's great. It goes from like insane to like just nobody, right? Like so quickly. And yeah. even like if I wanted to, like if I want to go get a sandwich, like half the places are closed, so I have to go all the way over the bridge to like a, a different town to, to get a sandwich. Wow. You got the Wawa's Seaside. We got the Wawa's actually open, but it's in, it's like kind of farther. But yeah, yeah, you got to go over that damn bridge, man. I hate that bridge. Yo, let me let me uh, let's ask you like some like simple. Questions. Okay. And uh, you know, I'm just gonna throw some out. Ask. Why don't you just ask? Why? Because, because <laughs> I need to set it up. Your what is it? What is it? What, what is, is your, your name? name? <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> what's your name? No. Yeah. You know what, Billy? <laughs> introduce <laughs> yourself. <laughs> introduce yourself. All right. Hi, what's, what's tw this one? Hi, I'm Billy. I. Uh, what do I do? I'm, I'm a musician on the internet. And I, uh, I'm hanging out with these guys. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, Billy. Fuck, the, I don't know what this is. The bros and Billy chilling. Yeah, Billy the and the bros. bros Billy. Podcast, we're chilling. Yeah, Billy, Billy and what, the bros. What I want to know, Billy, we became friends on social media. Yeah. You know, during the pandemic, I was, like, watching you. Like, I was so impressed. Thank you, dude. It, it was, like, really, really fun what you do. Thank you. And man. you got a really good reaction. But what I'm interested in is, you know, I can tell we're... Like, we're both from Jersey, and we have a lot in common. I was interested in your, like, uh, your favorite musicians and your oh, musical, yeah. you know, <laughs> sure. musical background. Okay. So, so, you know, my first question is, what's, like, the first album you bought? Oh, my God. I'm trying to hit you with a curveball. You know what, dude? It's actually what, the, first, <laughs> the first album that, like, truly, like, stuck with me, right? It wasn't, like, one that I bought. My cousin, uh, my cousin Johnny, shout out Johnny. He gave me an Owl City album. It was Ocean Eyes, and for some reason, that was like the first album I like really loved. Like before that, yeah. I had like, my dad raised me playing like Leonard Skinner and Led Zeppelin and, and all that stuff. But that was the first time I'd been exposed to like electronic music, like pop almost. Right. And I got obsessed with this album. I would listen to it on repeat every day, nonstop. I don't even know what that yeah. is. Oh, so like oh, you, you probably know like um, Fireflies or that song? Yeah, I, I, I mean, you've I heard, know it. If you heard it, you know it. Probably. It's like pop. Yeah, exactly. But the rest, of the, I the, yeah. I hate that song. The one that was the hit off of it, I hate. But all the other songs, like I, it just did something. I was like, holy shit, like this is cool. I mean, you know, your your music has this kind of like 
unique aesthetic where it's like it's like pop but shredder. That's my mission. I want to make pop saying? shred again, dude. Serge that, locked that, himself that, out, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go. Everybody point left. Stop <laughs> uh-huh. almost Rasta. What Rasta? Rasta. Which Rasta mod? The one that you do all the. For me? Yeah. The one that you do all the trades with all the time. Oh. Bring him in. Take five, yo. This bring guy, yo. This guy's gonna die. Bring him in. Bring him in. Bring him on. Put him on. That's it, baby. I, I was putting in my the friend. Wrong key How are you? Did you sort my life? Oh, nice to see you. I got. I've got to behave, man. I haven't bought a guitar. I've been a good boy. You guys would be proud of me. I haven't bought a guitar. In Four years, five years. That's a negative for us. Except for why? That's a negative for us. Except for the hell I have only traded. There you go. See? Okay, that counts. That works. Yeah. Works. That's fair. You know what? I haven't bought a guitar for myself <laughs> in ten about five years. There we go. There we go. Uh, uh, like, like <laughs> we buy guitars just because that's the business model. Yeah, no. It's... But, but in general, like for myself, from time to time, there's like a GS some... Mini in this house. I have a GS that's Mini, it. and and my and my Mexican Stratocaster. Well, slap those, that yeah. like was my first guitar. Yeah, my Old dad's faithful. Yep, yeah, same and thing. And that's it, and that's like what I prefer in my house. Bro, that's crazy. Yeah, dude, I, I, I've got, I don't know, I, I have too many. I think I've, I'm up to like 30, 20 or, high 20s or 30. Woo! Oh, wow. It's bad, it's bad. Well, because my dad yeah. plays too, though, so between the two of them, oh, okay, just, that makes sense. there's just yeah. so many. Well, well so, uh, your, your dad taught you how to play guitar? At fr- he got me started, right? So, dude, my, the way I learned was so weird. So I, um, so my dad got me started, got me, like, had me playing chords and stuff, right? And then after a while, he sent me to um, to some music center in town, which I, like I outgrew that quick. And then he got me studying with this guy named Carl Cochran. And this guy wrote a couple songs for Kiss, and he, he's like one of the best guitar players like ever. And um, so I started studying with Carl. Like I, I started getting good really fast. Like this guy was the best teacher. And then Carl had a stroke, um, and then um, I started studying gypsy jazz. This is such a weird thing. So there's a movie called Midnight in Paris. Yeah. Right? You know, yeah, see it? yeah of, course. of course. So the soundtrack it has like this crazy guitar shit in it. Like it's really sick. Yeah. Almost yeah. Like the Django type. Yeah, exactly. So I, I started learning all the songs from it. It's this guy, Stefan Rambel. So I started learning all these songs. And one day I'm at like, uh, like the Sam Ash by me or something. And I'm playing some of these songs. And the guy that works is like, oh, you might want to check out this show coming up. And he has me a flyer. It's the guy that wrote the song. I'm like, holy shit. So I was at some little restaurant in Madison or in, in Maplewood. And I went to go. I went to go watch him. And it turns out the guy moved from France to Jersey. He lived like a couple towns away. And he's from doing me. shows yeah. at like a bar. Wow. And the next yeah. weekend, I went and I started studying with him. And I, it taught me oh, all. He cool. made me play with two fingers for like a year and do all the Django stuff and everything. Oh. I learned so much, man. It's crazy. That's probably where like it's a Woody Woody uh, Woody Allen. Woody Allen. It's probably Allen. like you know he's in the New York oh, yeah. scene maybe. Yeah. Like, hooked up that way. Dude, it's but crazy. He's a French guy. Yeah, yeah. All Yo, of very it. cool. It, it's nuts, man. But that, yeah, I started going on the Gypsy Jazz route. And then I went to Berkeley. And then, and then I, I have an uncle that um, my mom had a half brother that I didn't know about for like half my life. But he went to Berkeley too and was a jazz guitarist. And he started coming over on Sundays and teaching me, and we, we became close after that. Very cool. And then, yeah, and I went to school for a year, dropped out, and then I learned everything not to do in music, and then I started making YouTube videos. <laughs> well, they say like they say like the best like success with uh, Berkeley is like the dudes that drop out. Oh, um, I dropped out too. Oh shit, stay up, Nacho. Nah, Nacho. Nacho Libre, bro. Yeah. Why? Yo, yo get, get home, boy Rob. <laughs> Help. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. I'll leave Nacho. There go. Oh, my God. But you know what I'm saying? Like, like, yeah, uh, yeah. like all the all the famous Berkeley musicians like left. A lot of them they did, figured yeah. it out. Like, you figured every, out a different route. When That's I like, when I dropped out, everyone's like, "Oh, so you're pulling a John Mayer?" I'm like, uh, "Are you kidding?" Like, no. Like, I'm not, that's not what I'm doing. Uh, but yeah, but like, no, you know. So, I don't know. But it was fun, dude. I, I loved it. Like, that was, like, the funnest time I ever had. Like, just getting my ass handed to me every day by, like, other guitar players. Like, it was just so sick. That's Cali, like, Cali style? Uh, well, no, that was in Boston. Oh, Boston. Yeah, right, Boston. right. Yeah, yeah. It's cold, man. It's a different Berkeley. Yeah. Yeah, that's <laughs> where <laughs> the music <laughs> <mom. laughs> Yeah, Berkeley music is... I couldn't go to that one. <laughs> oh, I don't think they have a guitar program there. Dude. No. <laughs> yeah, dude, no, it was sick, though. I was studying, um, I studied uh, jazz guitar performance there, I think. Wow. Or just guitar before it. I don't remember what it was called. But it was sick. I learned a lot. Yo, you'd probably be into Ron Jackson. He oh, he's great. Home. I know who he is. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's crazy. Yeah, he's, he's seven string cat. Yeah, oh, that's our homie. Exactly. Yeah, he's great, man. That guy's a, he, he's a monster. Totally. Uh, yeah, no, that was, that's how I kind of got started. Though. That's it. We saw him at NAMM. Yeah, for the first time. I ran into him at really? NAMM. I mean, I knew I knew him from We've been the, watching his videos. TikTok. Crazy. Really? You know, because he... Cause, is he on TikTok? Yeah. No way. He's like a TikTok. Instagram is kind of like where... Kind of pandemic style. Really? Same kind of thing. He 
he uh, started doing like lessons. They a lot of them went over my head because it's like jazz, and right. deep jazz stuff. But but I don't know. It was it was intriguing to watch. Like I I would watch it all the time. Right. And so we became friends. It's crazy, man. A lot of people were able to like blow up during all that. You know. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I feel like you guys you even started like doing all this stuff around the same the store, time, right? The store opened and up. And it was like it, yeah, it was like the same deal. TikTok, you know, the TikTok era. It's like a new. It is, man. It's so thing. weird. It's just weird now though, like the music industry is TikTok now. Like what happened? Yeah. It's scary. Yeah, like Sean was at, at some uh some like club or something. He said it, all the songs they were playing just TikTok. Songs. No, it's all TikTok songs. If you listen to the radio, it's all it's just TikTok. Man. They were playing oh yeah, you you did a video. So I was in the club, I went to see Paulie D. Oh, oh boy. I was in the yeah, 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 represent. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and, 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 and you know and no, and you know like, one does it. And you know the mix is like uh oh like uh I love corn. Do, 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 do. I love corn. I was like, yo. It's like, oh, the corn. I know what you yeah, the corn, oh, the corn. I don't even song. know what the fuck that is. Don't, don't, don't look it up. Don't look it up. No, I'm don't not. I'm not even. No. Uh, oh, know. man. No, I had no choice because I, dude, I was getting. I, that's the thing. My videos, like, I get like hundreds of comments and people are like, oh, play. They want to hear like all these yeah, trends okay. that are blowing up on TikTok. Yeah, right? you have to listen to the. You have to listen to the community and what they yeah, want. Yeah, you have to, dude. I mean, that's super interesting. Your thing is Omegle. Yeah. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. I don't know either. Omegle. But, <laughs> I, know, but, I, I, but I, say, I say Omegle. I say Omegle. Omegle. That's mad innovative, Omegle. though, Omegle. because, Omegle. because Omegle. not Omegle. a lot of people... I do both. I remember there used to be a, like a chat roulette like that. Yeah. yeah I wonder I, they I, still I, I tried that, too. Yeah, oh, I don't know. Yeah, but that was like, just with like weird ass people. Oh, no, it's still the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's like you can like a bunch of like naked people. Yeah, and this, that's and, 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 you guys want to know what a hell of an experience is? Like, I, it's at the point now where like, now I'll find like a naked dude on Omegle, right? Oh, man. And not only is he naked, but then he'll be like, Billy? And I'm like, oh, <laughs> shit. Like, oh, no. shit. No. Yeah. That was like the mo- that that changes your life when you have a moment like that, man. Uh, <laughs> bro, I follow you. Yeah, like, he's like, yo, wait, yo, let me stop. Like, yeah, hold up. He's like, yo, can you play me a song? I'm like, oh, what do yo, I do? Yo, no way. No but way. at the same time, I'm kind of hyped that somebody knew who I was. I'm like, yo, sick. Like, but no, like, why is it that guy? <laughs> like, why is it that guy? <laughs> yeah, that's funny. I, dude, I see the amount of stuff that I see to make those videos is like, it's truly like horrible. So we get that, we get the highlights. Oh. Oh, yeah, you got you, what you guys are seeing is like the tip of the iceberg, man. Like I filmed for like maybe like I am back when I first started, I'd be filming for like eight hours each video, and then you have just like all this footage, and maybe out of that eight hours, twenty minutes makes it to light. Sure, you know. Sure. So it's just like yeah, there's a lot of dark stuff on there, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah I believe. But it. it's worth it when you find a couple of cool people. It's worth it. I've got it down to a science now, though. Like so now you can filter through like interests and stuff. And I oh. found. I, I maybe you could before. I don't remember. I, I don't oh, think you yeah. could before. Or if I, I didn't know. before, <laughs> I didn't know to do it. Serge needs to be mic'd up, dude. We gotta get Serge on the mic. Yeah, yeah. I don't have anymore. I, I kind of like just screaming from the back. Honestly, Serge, come up. kick it on the stage if you're gonna participate, and then the boom will get you. Rob, how are you, my friend? I'm good, man. Yo, I'll trade with Serge. I'm barely saying shit anymore. Well, what do you no, mean? Don't don't I'm already all stoned. Like, I'm like sitting here like... <laughs> I, I, I think you're doing a great thing. I took a hit too. Come back in. <laughs> no, well, funny, Frank, yo, tell me. Tell you what? Tell me something. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I have a lot on my mind. What are you thinking about today? What are you thinking about? I don't know. I'm thinking about, like, the store, because I, like, ran out of there. Mm. Yeah. Business. Business. I know. I feel you. It was on my yo, mind Rob, right now. Uh, yeah. So, uh, what does New Jersey mean to you? You know, you're Dude. a Jersey cat. <laughs> Yo, we're all Jersey cats. Listen, all I'll tell you what. Jersey cats. I'm not a Jersey cat. And Jersey, and no, and Jersey, and Jersey. Oh, yeah, you're from Jersey. Okay, yeah, from where you're from. Jersey had an influence on us. You have to be and careful where you. He's giving me the look because he knows I'm going to say Taylor I, Ham. I've been, he knows I've been I'm going to say Taylor Ham. He knows I'm going to say Taylor Ham. He's, I've, looking, I've been, he's been, looking at me like he's going to hurt me. No, because he's oh, says, he says pork rolls. He says pork rolls. Pork rolls. I don't even. That's not even a thing. You have a pork roll? Sounds so gross. I dropped not Jersey Massachusetts. A pork roll? That sounds Sounds gross. Like uh, no, it's good. I don't. Do you know? Okay. Does anybody I, actually no, know? No, no. I like Taylor Ham. I love that. Taylor I get Ham. that all the time. No, but, but what? pork roll. Ugh. It's okay. But just the name, like, uh, it's not. What like, is it? It's like just pork in it, a it, roll. It's disgusting. I don't know, but like thin <laughs> slice of. Pork. No, it's no, like, no, yeah, no, it's, like, it's like a cold it's cut. Like a, no, yeah, it's know, blended, like, bro. It's, it's like blend fucking it's pork like in a blender that they fucking like squeeze it. It's, 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 it's like a cured meat. It's not even a sausage. I love it. 
It's a like it's a, a ham. It's a ham, yeah, kind of. I can't ham. imagine eating anything else for breakfast. Like I've never <laughs> had anything else for breakfast. Yeah. yeah. You, know? you know what? If you make it at a wrong place, they, like they could fuck it up. Like if yeah. they cut it like too thick, yeah. and they don't. Like, they don't that's the worst. Right. There's a, there's, Taylor ham has to be cut not thin. There's like, a Goldilocks thin. zone, dude. There's a Goldilocks <laughs> zone, and it really depends <laughs> on the type of bread you're putting it on. I mean, that, that's fair. Sure. Because, right, if you have, like, a nice soft roll, then you're going to want a thicker slice. But if you've got, a, like, a hard bagel or something, you want a thinner slice. So, yeah. so in Jersey, yeah. in Jersey, the bagels the is and real. the pizza, everything is better, better. there. All those kind of stuff. Yeah. Totally. Um, wow. You know why? I found out why. Someone told me, a baker. He said yeah. that in New York, you can only have a certain protein content in, like, the flour. Mm. And in New Jersey, they don't have that, like, that limit. Restriction. That limit. Yeah. Unlimited protein. Unlimited, Unlimited gains, dude. No, no, I think, the, I think they, they want less. They want less protein. They want Damn less protein. They want less protein. They measure all kinds of stuff nowadays. You never know. I didn't realize flour has protein. It makes it more. Yeah. I didn't know that It either. makes it more. Oh, yeah, it does. Yeah. I want to see Hell the yeah. protein. Yeah. No, because well, yeah, I know yeah, they, they put don't, don't show up. I heard about that. They'll show up. They'll take you down. It makes better bread and bagels. Like, bagels are way better in Jersey. Way better. They are pretty good. Yo, definitely. They're pretty good. New York bagels suck. No, New York, York has some big bagels. They suck. We're, we're in New York. I, well, I'm a New Yorker. I'll I have, tell you. I, they suck. Really? Jersey, Jersey has a better? different thing. Really? Jersey has much better. I haven't had enough New York bagels. New York I mean, uh, I mean they listen, used to be we, better than they are now. We, I mean, we're definitely ranked. We're definitely <laughs> ranked. New York is definitely ranked up there. It's got to be. But, uh, you know what somebody really told me it is? Somebody told me it's the water. Yeah, it's the, the water, water around also. here has, has water different minerals also. in it. Well, definitely, but, like but in New Cali. Jersey has the same water. Yeah, it's just we share same water. Shit. Yeah, you know, from the, it from works. the spring. But the, dude, like, back to the pork roll versus Taylor ham thing. Like, if you walk into the wrong establishment, like if you're in North Jersey and you walk into saying pork roll, right? Or if you go into South Jersey and you say it's Taylor ham, like you you could cause a civil war. Yeah. And I, I had uh, my producer buddy, my friend John Flynn. And we, like we recorded my EP together, and he was uh, we were in North Jersey. And I took him to like my favorite bagel spot, and he never had Taylor ham before. And he's like, he's like, what even is it? I'm like, I don't know, bro. Just eat this, right? And I was like, just tell the lady you want this, and, and don't ask questions. <laughs> and he's like, he's like, and then I started telling him about like the whole like North versus South thing, where it's Taylor ham versus pork roll. And he's like, I don't believe you. So then he mentioned, he said he has the audacity. He says to the lady at the cash register, he's like, what? He's like, why? Why can't I just call it pork roll? And then some guy spawns in behind us. <laughs> uh, like an NPC spawns in. He goes, well, actually, <laughs> actually, it's Taylor Hand. You know, John Taylor put the patent in whatever year it was. <laughs> Whoa. And this guy has the facts. Whoa. And then the lady at the register starts arguing with him about what it is. And they're going back and forth. Like, my friend started a war. I'm like, bro, we got to get out of here. <laughs> yeah. try, try, asking, try asking for Taylor Ham in New York City. Oh. You'll get, like, fucking smacked. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. No, I, don't know. <laughs> I never tried it. I never tried it. Oh, I like, what? You eat bacon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, 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 they like get confused. Bacon, they they, they yeah. don't know what you're talking about. Oh, here here, here bacon. comes Mr. Pork Roll. He's coming back in. Here you go. He walked in. He walked away. He's going to roll it. Here we go. We were just talking about this. You know, all, all, all Serge knows is about cheesesteaks. <laughs> okay. That's okay. it. He doesn't know anything. Oh, here we go. He's going to eat. Now he's going to pull I get the literal I know exactly what he's going to say. He's going to say, oh, yeah, 19 whatever. John Taylor put in the patent. No, no, no. Just look at two photos. I didn't know you could patent it. It says pork roll on it. I, I know. know he's going to show the brand versus... The, I know exactly where Taylor it's Ham the is the brand. The brand, versus, brand the versus the product. This is... Taylor Ham is the and, brand. But also, look at Band-Aid. Band I know. I know what you're going to do. I know what you're going to do. Well, what about Clorox and bleach? Yeah, or about yeah, exactly. tape. Or about tape, tape and paper towel. Well, it's not helping. It's not helping. It's not helping. <laughs> <laughs> it's not helping. <laughs> I just know where he's going with this. Listen, it doesn't matter where he's going. It just is. Yeah, the other yeah, way. Wait, wait, somebody, wait, somebody, somebody give me a case. <laughs> you don't need logic or facts. <laughs> somebody hand me a case. Rest your case. <laughs> rest your case. <laughs> I like it. Listen, if you look at it, it just is what it is. You know, I wonder if you can get a get a, a Taylor ham, egg, and cheese at like a deli here. I wonder what I've never problem. seen it. Probably. That would be a great. Thing. I've oh, never yeah. seen it. I don't know what it is. You can't even buy it at the supermarket. Yeah, you can. No, you yeah, but Taylor Ham. Why would you buy that at the supermarket? That's weird. Yeah, 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 I don't know. Yeah, I never, I never shit. bought it. I, you yeah, only, I only get it. I only get it at like a bagel place or like at a deli. But it's good. Yeah, I never. It, I it never. It lasts forever too. Like you cook it forever, it's good. Wait, so you get a whole roll? Oh no, I get a whole yeah, box. Yeah, you just like, oh, two yeah. in a box. Two in a box. Yeah. yeah, you get a bunch of these little red boxes. You're like, 
Uh, oh so I just, no, just, that's cold cuts, but they don't have no, Taylor hands. No, like that. it's Taylor. No, it's a little it's a little box, it comes with like anywhere between two to four like sl- like little yeah, slice bits box. of it. Um, you can throw it's it on the same. Stuff. Shit, I didn't it's know. The, yeah, it's I thought it's where like... Where do you think they get it? That's Dude, exactly what that's what they Yo, do. welcome to the Deli Meat Podcast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we talk about all kinds of different deli meats, you know? Yo, you like kielbasa, bro? <laughs> Yo. Yo, if you guys are watching this right now, comment ham in the comments right now. It's for the meat of the week. Hashtag, <laughs> hashtag, hashtag ham. ham. <laughs> the new bologna. <laughs> the new bologna. <laughs> that's last week's hashtag. Yo, bologna, bro, bologna. <laughs> Gotta drive that engagement up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's so funny. Billy, really, I want to know more about like your greatest hits on Omegle. Oh, some no. of the fucking worst Dude. shit that you've ever seen. Dude. Uh, the worst, like what we were saying before, like when you find like a naked man and he's just sitting there and then he knows who you are. That's definitely the most traumatizing thing. Yeah, that's You know, nice. I've had pretty horrible things happen that's on there. <laughs> Um, and how'd you first start doing that? Dude, what, what made well, you want to like <laughs> fucking in out? middle school? Like when we were like all hanging out after school and shit, right? Like we'd all go on there and just like mess with people. And then like I, I was like I started going on there and like playing guitar and just I was really shy. I was like scared to play in front of people. So I'd just go on there and like play different things and see what things people would stop and listen to and see what things people would skip. And so like when I was younger, like I kind of went on there just to, like to to see what people liked. So you've been uh-huh. using it for for a while. Well, no, I stopped after like you know after like middle, like didn't go on there for a long time, dude. And then when the pandemic started and like I, everything happened so quick, like, I had all my gigs lined up. I lost everything like over overnight, right? And then sure. I was like, well, shit, like, what do I do now? So I, a couple months into it, I'm just bored as hell. I just wanted to, like, entertain somebody, you know? So I, I had been watching a bunch of other YouTubers like Mr. Wobbles and, like, The Do, and they, they go on there and they do their thing. I was like, oh, maybe I should try that. Maybe I, I used to just go on there and just not film it. Maybe I should just film what I used to do. Yeah. So I just started filming it. And at first I put it on YouTube and uh, on TikTok and Instagram. And it didn't do anything. Like, people would comment, yo, this is such a cool idea. Like, but it didn't really gain me anything. So I kept doing it for months, so it just gave me something to, like, hold myself accountable for. And, I, 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 and then uh, somebody commented on one of the videos, they're like, yo, like, why don't you take all these clips, put them together, and just throw it on YouTube? Like, a compilation. I was like, oh, okay, that's, that's easy. I, I, I could probably do that. Oh, wow. So I did it on, like, one Wednesday in, like, 2020. And then I, the next week, I had a bunch of clips left over. So I was like, oh, well, maybe I'll just post again the same time next week. And then I just, I, it became like my one job that I would hold myself accountable for would be I, every Wednesday I have to post a video no matter what. If that's my only thing that I have to do during the pandemic, then it just give me so, like something to be proud of myself for. Sure. You know? Nice. And I did it. I just kept doing it. And then eventually like one took off and then and that was it. And um, It was just one that set you off? Uh, well, it was kind of, a, it was a slow burn. So like I had one blow up and then things kind of, it got me up to like 20,000 subscribers on YouTube, which was huge for me. Wow. And then I started live streaming. Because I was like, okay, well, how do I how do I take this and make money? Because I wasn't making money off the videos because they get copyright claimed every time. Right. So every yeah. time I play a cover song, the labels come. They're like, nope, we'll take all that. So they probably make a lot of money off of my videos. I don't I don't make any of that. Wow. And then um, so I, but I built the following up. So I was like, why don't I just go live on Twitch? And so I started streaming, and people could donate for like song requests and stuff. So that's how I started the live streaming uh, grind. But then um, the real the the real big moment for me, I had a video where some girl was like, oh, uh, I bet you can't play this. And it's, she pulls up Through the Fire and Flames. Oh, and yeah. And like, oh, okay, like, I know what it sounds like. It's Through the Fire. Like, everybody knows it. Like, I don't know how to play, like, the solos and stuff, but I, I, I was like, whatever, I'll just do something. And so I just played, like, the same chord progression in a different key and then just started singing what I, whatever I could of it. And I looped it, and then I played, like, the little the main melody on it. And that video blew up, dude. Like, the next day, it had, like, 16 million views or some shit. Like, Holy it just God. went crazy. And then um, Herman Lee saw it. Yeah. And I was like, why is this going to be the one? I, didn't, I wasn't going to post it because I didn't even play it the right way. Like, all the guitar nerds are like, oh, you didn't even play the solo, this and that. They're like, you, don't, you probably can't play it if you try it. I'm like, bro, like, what? I, I, I don't know how to play the song. Like, standard TikTok comments. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they of course. Of yeah, course. They're, 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 they're sticklers. Right. But Super they're giving fans. us engagement. So the more hate a video gets, the bigger it's going to go, apparently. Well, I thought. But yeah, the yeah. video just kept on going. And then Herman saw it. And he, he liked it. He's like, oh, it was pretty cool. So he do watch the video on TikTok, and then his video of him reacting to it went viral. And then my, I made a video of me reacting to Herman reacting to it, and that blew yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. And then everybody wanted a, a full version, so I ended up doing a full version of Through the Fire and Flames, but with Herman Lee. So I got Herman to play a solo on it. Oh, and so, sick. Yeah, so like, like the version that you did. Yeah, my version. Oh, okay. So it was Through the Fire and Flames featuring Herman Lee of Dragon Force. Like, what? 
So that was like the that was like the big thing that blew up my social media. So so you got to interact with Herman Lee. Yeah, yeah. And now, work with him. Yeah. Basically yeah, collaborate. With yeah, him. dude. Yeah, I've learned a lot from that guy. And then yeah. I got to go play Don't with Dragon go? Force. Yeah, I was gonna say they they invited you to a show. Yeah, I played with. How was that? It was scary. Dude. Experience. Terrifying. Yeah. Absolutely terrifying. That was the scariest night of my life. But it was so cool. Yeah. It was huge. It was dude. Oh, people. it was nuts, man. It was it was really crazy. Yeah. And like the whole crowd was like, oh, I saw your TikTok. I'm like, oh shit, like, what's up? Uh huh. Uh-huh. It was weird, man. But yeah, that, that was pretty much the beginning, and I was able to take that uh, that momentum and just keep building the thing with it. And and uh, was it like TikTok or or on YouTube that uh, blew up? First, it was TikTok, yeah. and recently I posted the same clip to YouTube, and it just got another 15 million views on YouTube. Like uh, it went nuts. I mean, you're killing it with 200,000 subscribers. Yeah, on YouTube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's that's like a major achievement. I feel like YouTube Dude. subscribers are the are the toughest to like uh, to amass. You know what it is, man? It's like YouTube. Like I, I remember, like back before, like I really started doing YouTube. I would look at YouTube and I'd be signed into my account, and I would only post like my music videos there and stuff. But like, if you once you really start grinding YouTube, it's just so much more work than like TikTok and Instagram. Sure. Like you have to be so consistent. But the cool thing about YouTube is I feel like they're the only platform that really rewards hard work like that. Yeah. Like, if you're consistent, you keep showing up, somebody's going to see it. it. You just keep on doing it. It takes a while for them to kind of, like, index you and put you in your in your place. But right. I think if, if you keep going, I think it, it gets rewarded. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's hard. Well, you know, we had a lot of success with it, and then we kind of started to slack a little bit mm. on being, on, like, posting at the same time. Yeah. You know? And now Our videos just are just... so good. I love them. But <laughs> yeah, for, I love like, too. for like personal. <laughs> yeah. You know? Like yeah. it's great. We're documenting well, Sean and I in Paris. And that's good. I'll remember that now. I can watch that video. Right. But no one Ooh, gives a fuck vlog. about that. <laughs> no, I think, no, man. I, you know, I, like, I talk about it with Georgie a lot. And, and we do these kind of things. Yeah. This is fun. I like to put people on. Like other people that, that we communicate with. And like share this experience. Oh yeah, totally. But then... I like vlog style. Yeah. That's my favorite. Well, it's hard because, like, at the end of the day, like, the thing you have to understand, and, like, a lot of creators take it, like, so personally, like, when a video flops or something, right? Sure. And I find that the videos that I like the most are always the ones that perform the shittiest. Definitely. Right? Yeah. But it's like, at, at the end of the day, all we are, dude, we're just, like, putting shit out there that people are taking the shit and scrolling past. And if they click on it, like, sick. If they don't, like, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Like, I mean, you know, we, like, we definitely try to, like, try to take the emotion out of it and, and you know, enjoy it. It's right? hard to separate, it's all like, enjoyment. It's hard to separate just doing, like, what... It's hard to find a balance between what you like doing and what's going to appeal to, like, a mass of people. Yeah, well, yeah. you're also putting in time and work into it. You have to. You're putting yeah. work into it. That's, that's like, like a full-time job. That's yeah. your job. Yeah, 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 yeah that's, right. that's my job. It's work. Of yeah, course. totally. But, yeah, it, 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 you just got to be consistent. I think it's the main thing, dude. You just keep showing up. And, like, every time you post a video, be like, okay, like, I'll look back and be like, why did this video blow up? And I'll post another one, and that one doesn't do as good. Okay, what did this one have that the one that blew up did have? Sure. You know, yeah, like, you'll start my, to analyze my, yourself. Sure. My shit is like, uh, I can't like talk to the camera. It's hard. You know, like, hey, like, you know, I, I can I tell that it's stuff. a fucking camera. It's not like, you know, like me and you, like, not I'm yet. talking to you, there's like a, you know, something to drive it because it's a human. That's when it's a camera. I always talk to Georgie. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, just... Sergio does it all. Yeah, like, uses that technique. And I also, we people, all, yeah. we like, you know, just having Georgie behind the camera, it makes it a lot easier. It makes it look, yeah, to speak. Yeah, yeah. I know if it dude to me. Like my first couple of videos were so awkward, and it really just came down to like the editing. I'd have to like edit them to like be as least cringe and as then possible. Then you're, like, like, you're talking to yourself. Yeah. Critical. You're like, am I saying that right? Oh, yeah. all the time. Well, 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 you did the Omegle thing. It's kind uh, of like it's it's well, that, human. Yeah. yeah. So for it's those parts, it was easy, right? Yeah. Those yeah. parts, you just be yourself and interact with people. But like you right. said, like, the, the intros. God damn it, Nacho. Fucking throw him away. Fucking no, dude. I want I want him there. I get lonely without him. Uh, I kind of like nice. You're a homeboy. Yeah, it's my friend now. Yeah, uh, yeah. You know, you just have to. It's just like a, you have to just kind of get out of your own way mentally and just do it. It's weird though. Yeah. yeah. So here, 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 take this. We can switch if you want. I'm gonna go back to work. <laughs> Frankly, go. I got. It's like get me off of this stage. Uh, yeah, no, so you're just gonna have a nice input. For sure. My God. You're from back in the cut. You're killing it. There we go. Ah. Uh. Yo, Rob. Hey, man. So tell me about your rig. Like, you have some high fucking fidelity sound going on. Oh, how do you how do you fucking make your live guitar sound good? That took me a long time to figure out, man. At first, so it's so bizarre. So when I first started everything, I had like I had like a couple like like two thousand dollars left in my bank account, whatever it was. I I spent it all on a digital rig. I had an opportunity to open up for uh, this rapper Harry Mack, who does video videos too. The guy's a freak. Oh, this guy's amazing, dude. He's unreal. I was a huge fan of his. 
And um, so I got offered to open up for him at this charity event at the stadium at University of Delaware. Wow. And so my band was booked to do this whole thing. And I had a couple other college gigs that week, and that would have paid for all that. But anyways, I invested in a whole digital rig for my band. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, like a, 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 it was a, a Behringer Air Mixer. Oh, okay, One of those, yeah. Like, sick. Oh, the digital. Yeah, yeah, the in-ear rigs yeah. and everything. Mm -hmm. Oh. So I, uh, I I did that, and so I, I spent everything on that. Then the day before the little college weekend tour started, we lost all those gigs. So I was like, well, shit, like, what am I going to do with the setup now? So I, yeah. I set it up. I tried streaming with it at first. And then I figured out how to run that rig into a Maggle. Because I, I had a, a MacBook Pro from, like, 2014. That was, like, a sure. piece of crap. It was falling apart. It was, like, the lowest spec. It could barely run, like, my, like, Logic sessions and whatnot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, so I started with that, and then um, I ended up changing it to running my entire audio to go through Ableton. So everything I do now, it's all just Ableton audio, and I figured out a way to connect that as like my input source. Mm -hmm. So like if I'm on a phone call, I could talk through Ableton. Yeah. I could play my sessions to my friends and stuff. I figured out a, way, a cool way to do it. We're all Ableton guys. I love Ableton. It's my like shit. A lot yeah. of, like, a, like, you know, I mean, I guess we all, I guess you use Logic. Also, often, right? But, Logical Pro Tools, yeah. Yeah, yeah but, but I don't know. A lot of us here in the shop, we like Ableton. Yeah, it's a, it's a the really workflow's nice. Workflow. Good, yeah. good workflow and just like uh, straight full. I don't know. Like a lot of, a lot of uh, features. Yeah. I guess that's what I learned. You want to know what it was for me? So I, I would hang out with like my producer friends, and I was using Logic back in the day, and they were using Ableton. And it got to a point where like, I just watched them work, and like their workflow so fast, and just the way they'd have a beat flushed out in like 20 minutes. Sure. I'm like, holy crap. So I, I, I finally made the switch and figured it all out. And then I realized like for live performing, like it's really like the, the move. Mm, yeah. So then I, um, I figured out how to do all the live looping and stuff through it. Sure. And then it, it, what really changed everything for me, I bought the Push. Yeah, the, the, push the Novation? Yeah, yeah, no, I, Ableton makes it, I think, actually. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. But all it is, it's just a physical representation of like session view. Um, sure. But like with buttons, you can press. Yeah, it session too. view's legit. And so I figured out how to run all my plugins and everything. So like I could turn my like a reverb delay everything off just through a, a couple uh, buttons on it. And then I run all my guitars through like neural D uh, DSP, like those those plugins and stuff. Sure. Um, which, those are sick. Yeah. Those guitar plugins are like they they make such a difference, man. But yeah, I pretty much just run everything through that. I have like a guitar rig. Yeah, oh, guitar rig, yeah. Guitar rig. Yeah, because yeah, I got it with uh, some native instruments. Yeah, exactly. You know, they have good sounds. They have really good stuff, man. Yeah. I used, to, I, I used that on my EP for a lot of stuff. Yeah. It was like before all that, yeah, it was huge. I, you know, you, you use like like uh, backing tracks sometimes. Yeah, yeah, for my I original noticed, stuff. I yeah. Yeah, so what I'll do is I'll either, I'll make the, for some of those songs, like I'll just make a loop on the spot. But more so for the streaming and stuff. The Omega videos, I'm usually more like prepared for things unless they hit me for a request that requires like a loop. But most of the time, I'll, uh, I'll either do that, or I have tracks that my band runs when we go and play a show. So we've got like the in-ears and like all the synths and the sub basses and stuff, background vocals. It's like it's nice. Very cool. But um, yeah, I'll, I'll use those for my my Twitch streams and stuff. I have versions where I just took out the guitars and the vocals and it, just run those. So it works. But it it took me a while to figure out the whole setup. Now, like it, I, I've got it down. Like my I bought a nice computer and I, I don't yeah. have to like use all this crazy shit to make it work anymore. It's all a laptop now. You plug it in, bing, bang, yeah. boom, and you're ready to go. Chilling, you have dude. your little studio. The hard part about my setup is more like the internal like software routing and stuff. You know, yeah, that stuff gets like really complicated. Or, like the MIDI mapping for like turning plugins on and off and stuff. It's a nightmare. Yeah, you know, we use the like Helix. Yeah, you know, a lot sick. of uh, like uh, I don't know. We don't use the laptop very often in the store, but uh, but things like that, like multi effects yeah. processor. Uh, with amp modeling, yeah. you ever mess with this thing, the Helix? I haven't actually played a Helix before. It's pretty cool. But I've seen yeah, it. We'll, we'll, we'll try it out. Yeah, sure. we got it for sure. Yeah. I'd love to do that. Because that, that, that's been my new like mode of transportation in yeah. like, the last few months. It's, just, it's like game changer. Because mm -hmm. you can just plug that thing fucking directly and just no, operate like a pedal board. Well, that, that's what everybody's doing now. Like They're touring and, and they're just bringing these digital rigs now. Mm -hmm. And everybody's sound is like, um, even Five Finger Death Punch. Like, yeah. Everything is like so automated and stuff. Like they don't even have to press their pedals yeah. anymore. Everything is like going through a, a, a session. Like, they're, 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 they're on a click, and it's like this, yeah. effect, this drop will happen here. They're like it's the same show every time, mm -hmm. and you get the same sound every time, which is huge. That's the most important thing. Yeah, you're never gonna get that. With they all they <laughs> automate ever. they automate the pedals. Yeah, like somebody's doing it. Or no, like no, it's, it's like, all oh, software. It's the all shows, like, like high production yeah. shows like that, they're on a fucking tight clock. Sure. They're like there might be like an improvised guitar solo or a drum solo fucking somewhere, but even that's probably like on a time crunch. Yeah, yeah. like there's like 
they probably hey they're at a point where like they're running around the stage and I don't want, want to worry about their effect switches. So like it's gonna be like okay, we're all on a click that's going to all of our in ears. This drop is gonna happen on this bar, this beat. It's gonna switch to this effect. You're gonna do Bro, this part. It's here's a funny story for you, man. So when I went to play with Dragon, I right, saw so I walk in, dude. Right, I've got my I have my pedal board. All my pedals, I love my pedals, right? I haven't used them in a while, though. And I walk in, I take them all uh, to the, you know, the guitar. They call it Guitar Land. And you walk in, there's, like, the guitar tech. And you know how techs are. You're, like, you want to stay out of their way, right? Mm -hmm. So the first thing, I walk in, and I'm like, uh, I, he looks at me, and I'm holding the pedals. And he's like, what the fuck is that? I'm like, oh. <laughs> like, these are my pedals. He goes, he goes, put that shit down. He goes, you're, you're playing this. He plays, like, a wall of Kempers. I'm like, okay. Cool. Cool. Okay, cool. Sick. Like, sick, dude. Yeah, so he's like, yeah, like get that shit out of my face. Like he's like, no, that's not happening. Yeah, I was like, okay, I'll just leave these here. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So, but that's how you, uh, the whole show's automated like that. It's crazy. Yeah. they don't even have to press the pedal to like turn their their gain up or down. Like nothing. Like it's crazy. So, that's really interesting. But it's, I want to do it so bad. But like the mm -hmm. kind of show, I feel like my show. It's always like more like improv, like a lot of well, like the, stuff the, off the, the top. There's a certain magic to kind of. That's flow. what I'm saying. Like, just kind of going. Like just... for a band like Dragon Force, where it's like fucking yeah. power metal, you're going there. You hear, to. you're here the video game solo. Like yeah. you need to hear the exactly. It has to be. Like if you're going to see like fucking Marcus King or Steve right. Byers, like someone that's just like even like if you go to watch like The Dad or like any, yeah. any jam band type of stuff too. Like, yeah. It's it's just like it's, there's so much more that's just kind of like off the top. Mm. So I, I have I'm having where I'm at right now. I'm having like a hard time figuring out a balance between like that pop and like that automation type of stuff. Where well, that's that's actually why exactly why I like this. Yeah, that's a, that's a good in between. Mm -hmm. That is a really good in between. So I don't know. I have to figure it out. The, I you know I've been thinking about getting eventually once I start like really playing shows again. The um, the quad cortex. Yeah, yeah. People it, have been liking that. Yeah. I haven't had a chance to try it. Yeah. But things really it seems really cool. I, I hear the helix is insane though. I've never played one. And then, uh, but yeah, all my plugins and stuff. Like right now, my whole show is just a laptop. Yeah. It's just yeah, so weird. So. Man. A laptop, and then I I'm using the push as like my mixer. So um, are you are you doing live shows with a band? Yeah, like I, have a, I have an yeah. awesome band. Dude, like, I, it's, so, it's all like uh, my friends I used to play at all the bars with. Yeah. Uh, like they're all like they, these guys all grew up playing all the bars. They know they know the drill. Like yeah. they know all the stuff. Sure. Yeah. If you if you, yeah. you can play in the Jersey bars, mm -hmm. then you can play. Anywhere. Yeah, exactly. If, yeah. if, 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 you know how it goes, especially down by you. Yeah. Like forget it. Or if you can get the one angry guy in the Phillies hat to start dancing it, after oh, like yeah. a beer or two, you're chilling. Like, you're chilling. You're chilling. Uh, are you? Uh, are you down with Bruce Springsteen? Oh yeah, dude. Of course, yeah, that was my like, first concert, bro. Yeah. yeah. Oh okay. Oh, yeah, that's my, a, that, that was a question I yeah. wanted to ask you too. My mom and, loves him. And uh, you know. Uh, that's like what he's all about. Like they were down doing Jersey raw, doing the show, yeah. And that's like what built his chops. That's what I'll tell you. What, it's so true though. Like whenever he talks about this stuff, like the the bars down there will either like make or break you. And there's right. a lot of guys. The problem with the bar scene down there is it's kind of a never ending loop, right? You start playing. There's only so so many places you can go, and all these guys. Are like, oh, I can get you on this stage at, at this show at this and that. But you, ha you I eventually like. I did it for so long. I've been playing at those bars since I was like 13, dude. And it got to a point where I was like, all right, like I, I gotta, I gotta just break the cycle. And it, so I haven't been playing shows. Like, I'll do like maybe a couple of little gigs here and there. But from now on, the only gigs I'm doing are like ones where I can go and like play like my own music. Like sure. instead of like the cover band thing, I, yeah, yeah, I, I yeah. Can, I, I'm done with it. Right, right. Yeah. Cut, like cut. I loved it. Like it was so much fun, dude. Like it, it was such a cool thing. But it's an endless loop. Like it, I just couldn't break out of it. Yeah, I hear you. I want to put together a show. With like, with you, yeah. Ron Jackson. That was I, you know, throughout the year, we're gonna get some other local uh, creators. Like in this, in in our kind of, in this uh, segment, right? You know, yeah, yeah. That have that have like a following of their own, and I want to put together a show. We get a venue Dude. somewhere, and we do like. You know, we do the Bros Guitars All Stars. Yeah, I have. We have our own little. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, what happened to the guitar battle is my question. Yeah, guitar battle. You got, yo, you got, yo, dude, it's... that you know what? I feel like the guitar battle thing has kind of died. Yeah, like somebody's got to bring it back. Like, it well, has, we, well, did, it we, we did it uh, a year and a half ago. We actually had Mrs. Smith host it. Really? Yeah. It was fucking sick. That's it was crazy. Really fun. Um, but uh, it went super well. We had a, it was pretty much just like a pop up street fair. Like, right. We on the corner of 87th, <laughs> yeah, it's fucking like, over there. But like, yeah. mad people just turned up and yeah. just like turned up. Yo, fun. we're doing we're doing an event, and I'm probably gonna just announce it. Uh, the marathon weekend. Oh yeah. On the marathon day, uh, First Avenue is where the marathon runners they run. run there, yeah. And 
and we're gonna set up over there on the other side of the block so next to the hardware store and we're just gonna do a fucking concert. That's so cool, dude. So that's gonna be an that event, and then you're definitely invited. Dude, I'll gonna, come to this. Yo, you. hell yeah, we're gonna, you know, make some content and fucking rock the Upper East Side. Bro, for real. <laughs> that's the idea. What do you, do you think? If you, you know? That's, that's I think it's a Saturday. Idea. It's the same idea. As things are, it feels like things are just starting to come back, mm -hmm. too. Like, I feel like live music, all of a sudden, it, it feels like it's at the point now where it's ready to, to start going. When we did this, the battle, so we did it there, right. in that area, and it was like, last summer so like we story. pretended like everything was fine right but it was like it well, was, it was, it was, it was kind of cool like how we did the guitar battle itself going back to like the whole improv thing and it's like how like on your toes can you be right like, like we made them provide their own one minute track okay that they were going to improvise over, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, obviously they could prepare something in that right. time so the, the curveball we switched uh gave them after their minute we gave them a minute of the other person's track okay that's like, cool. okay here you go Have that's fun. sick i like that that's yeah, fun. So it was really cool. Dude, it's tricky though. Like, I even like as a guitarist, dude, like my whole perspective of like what I've been trying to do, like for the longest time, like my only mission was just to be like the best guitarist I could be. Yeah. And then finally, I got to a point where like I kind of shifted gears and started doing like the, the singing and everything. And I was like, oh, okay, like maybe I could. I realized there's so much more I could for for what I want to do. I realized there's other things I had to tap into, like video editing and like like all that. Yeah. But like when it comes to like as a guitarist, dude, like I feel like I'm always gonna be a guitarist first. And that part of me, like, I feel like my mission is just to be, like, as well-rounded as I possibly can. You know, like, I, if I, I want to be able to hang with, like, a bunch of jazz cats or be thrown into, like, a jam band situation. Or sure. Be able to do whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Definitely. I mean, you're be a like, great well, singer. Thank you, bro. Yeah. I wasn't no, I, I like, I, that's recent. Well, yeah. Like, you know, like I, I, I had to, when everything shut down, I had to really force myself to grind that. Like, well, well uh, I feel like you're naturally good. But oh, maybe no, you just didn't. <laughs> no. No? <laughs> no, dude. I, I just put a lot of time in on it. Yeah? A lot. Practicing how to sing? It was adapt or die, bro. Yeah, bro. Die, bro. I don't know. I sound so bad, and I always think about that. Dude, I, yeah. Like, I don't think you can learn that. Oh, I love your use of microtonality. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it took me a while, dude. Like, I feel like I'm just, like, recently getting to a place where, like, I'm, I can tolerate the sound of my own voice. Yeah, I mean, but, it sounds like, great. It, for a while, I was just like, ah. Oh. Like, when I first started posting See, those videos. Now. <laughs> 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 Bro, but you know what happened to me though? Like for real, like when, when everything like first like like shut down, like I wasn't really like that much of it. It forced me to really like step my shit up and like just get out of my own way. Cause I, I was posting these videos and I was like I was, I was like oh but I don't like the way I sang it. But I was like ah whatever, who, who's gonna see it anyways? Like fuck it. And then it, it, now yeah, you have to you just have to like like uh don't critique your don't critique just, it yourself. I, I, I'm at a point now, dude, where just whatever I do just is, and I'm cool with it. Like fuck it. Yeah, fuck yeah. Yeah, yeah that's the way to go. So where do you see the trajectory of your music career, and how has like the TikTok shit changed that? For it's you? been weird. I never thought I'd be a content creator. <laughs> I never saw that coming, dude. Like I, I don't know, cause I feel like I, I like the spot I'm in now, cause I'm kind of dancing around the edges of the music industry, if you will. Sure. Right, like I, I I'm kind of just doing my own thing. So I guess I'm doing the independent artist thing now, but it's enabled me to do so much more. Um, uh, it's like it, it being do the YouTube thing. The biggest problem that I have right now is that I spend so much time editing my videos and like building, you know, doing the social media thing that I haven't had time to like write a damn song. And so long, so like I finally have been like lucky to get to a point now where I can hire an editor and like hire people that can come help me out. Yeah. So I'm trying to offload some of that workload and get into, back into a more of a routine because I feel like with what I've been doing, with, like the Omega videos and stuff, I feel like there is kind of a cap that you get to, and I don't want to be like the Omega guy forever. <laughs> you know, like I want to be an artist. Yeah. So like I'm at a point now where I kind of have to start shifting gears now and like start kind of doing the other end of things too. And offloading some of that work because you have to keep that grind up. They, they they work together. Sure. But it's just it it, it kills me for sure. It's hard. You're pro but. probably like uh, appearing like on on things like this. Yeah. Like that's like a good like way. Yeah. You know, not just this one. No, for I'm saying, saying in general. <laughs> like that. I mean. No, I, I I mean I mean not even like I mean that's like a good way to where you broaden. Like, you know, you get other people's fan bases. And there's right, lots exactly. of podcasts. Well, that's the thing. Like, collaborating, just working together with other people. Yeah, like, that's the yeah. most important thing, dude. For sure. That's the most important thing. Because, like, even, even with the videos, especially, too, with the YouTube end of it, that's, that's like, the most important, valuable thing you could do. Yeah. You know? yeah For real. Yeah. But it's, like, it's just such a tricky space, man, because I feel like I walk a tightrope between being a content creator and being a musician. You know, sure. so it's just such a weird thing, and I'm worried, like, oh, well, people take my music as seriously if I make these uh, these silly videos all the time and this and that. So yeah. it's like it, it's a weird thing, but I, know, I look at guys like um, like Joji, like Filthy Frank. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like Joji oh, was Filthy God, yeah. Frank. 
Sure. Like what? Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I respect but, uh, a lot yeah. of. It's like that, that was like my entire middle school. Yeah, so you do. That's like, what I'm I respect a lot of a lot of YouTube uh, musicians. <laughs> yeah, well, there's like, a bunch of them. The cool thing, man, I, I I think what I've realized after doing all this for the last couple of years, the most valuable thing that you can do. It's one thing to have people that are like a fan of your music. But if you have people that are just a fan of you as a person in general, just like that, just that like what you're doing, and it's so much more valuable. Because then if I decide what, like I got sick a couple weeks ago, right, and I couldn't sing. I lost my, I got like laryngitis and shit. So I went live on Twitch. I played Call of Duty. I played the beta or whatever. And like people still tuned in and like hung out and like, and, like that was sick. Yeah, and, that's just, and I was like, you guys aren't like leaving me because I'm not playing music. They're like, no, we just like want to hang out. I was like, what the fuck? Yeah, and like yeah. that, that to me, I think that's more about that transcends everything. Because if I wanted to go into a company where I'm selling guitar picks or or whatever, sure. it is, you just have people that want to support you and be a part of it. It can be like definitely. Whatever. It would be you know, uh, it would be cool to do like a show, and, yeah. right, and send all your oh, and like sick. invite all your fans out like that. a solo, you yeah. know, like like a show to see what that's like. Dude, you know what's really crazy, man? I did one over the summer in Seaside uh, on the boardwalk, so we're yeah. playing. And this one guy brought his whole family. They drove all the way from Ohio Yo. to come watch us play. I was like, bro, what? That's well, sick. I was like, holy shit. It meant so much to me. I was like, I was like bro, like, I, I never would have thought. Like, sure. who would, like, who does that? Right. I was like, damn. But like, he's like, he's like, man, I love your videos. I, yeah, I, I, I mean, it, it strikes a chord, bro, what I was, you do. I, you never realize it, man. It's crazy. Yeah. But yeah, it was sick, man. I, I'm, I'm slowly but surely figuring it out. But I, I'm, I'm getting to a point now where I want to start focusing the other end of things. Like really grow, like start writing again and go and, and, and take the show on the road and, and play in front of human beings. Yeah, yeah, I can yeah. yell for it in front of a screen and a camera in my room all day, but like yeah. I, I want to go out there and like, I just miss that rush, you know, like play, even playing at the bars, doing the cover mm-hmm. thing, like I miss it. Human interaction yeah, and whatnot. Yeah, It's isolating. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, so I'm, I hear I'm, you. I'm figuring it out, but slowly but surely. So we've been rolling for about an hour. Do you guys want to break and whip out the laptop and see if we could get some Omegle shit going? Jesus Christ. Yeah, let's, <laughs> let's, 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 let's take five. Let's take yeah. five, and we'll start fucking around. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.